Um, Zeme has said it all pretty much. Chef Mashe, a food blogger, on air personality. Um, I mean, she started her career in, in media on radio, and eventually followed her passion, which was which is food. And then she went on to start a blog, um, very successful blog, uh, Mashe Cooks. And then she also went ahead to create her own seasoning, her, her own condiment for food, which is Mashe Cooks seasoning. So we have a very accredited chef coming to us, and she's our own very, oh, she's our very own African, not only African, she's Nigerian, Wari-born chef in the house. So she's our very own, you know, Tiwan Tiwan, let me, for, for lack of a better word, Tiwan Tiwan, that's Ogonga, Nigerian chef. So we're going to, she's going to come here, and she's going to teach us, or take us on the class on, you know, some of our specialties. So um, I think um, it's about time to welcome. And then, before I forget, she also is writing her own cookbook. It's her first cookbook, she's writing it. So we have, you know, very good value today. So thank you very much. A round of applause for Chef Mashe Uwashe! Oh. I cannot be from Wari and not represent myself. Una plenty, oh. How na day? There's a way we greet in Wari, eh? It's a funny way. We use it in universities, we use it in secondary schools. I'll teach you because I know not everybody is from Wari here. But if you are from Wari, raise up your hands. Una plenty, oh. All right. If I say so kwe, you say a. Then the last one, follow how I actually say it. When I say something like, so queer, you know, then they're inside the crowd. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. So queer. Hey. This side, I want to hear from you. So queer. Hey. 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 Give a big round of applause for yourself. So what are we going to do today? I have two things for you. First, I'm a spice producer, so I thought it would be nice to teach you how to make one of the very simple spices we have at home. It's a simple recipe if you get the ingredients. And all you need to do is use your blender. You don't need too many things. In spice production, I'll tell you something. The science behind spices is measurement. For every spice you see out there, what differentiates, you know, maybe Spice Supreme from Ace or from Mashe Cooks, is all about measurements and also the freshness of your spice. So if you know how to get fresh spice, one thing that will make you get good spice, if you, it's if you get them in the whole form. So when you're making spice for yourself, make sure if you're using black pepper corn, you're using the main thing. We they call them seeds. So you use the fresh seeds, you use the fresh this, the fresh that. It's all about how you combine at the end of the day. So I'm going to teach you how to make something you have in your kitchens. But you know the difference. There's a huge difference between store-bought spices and spices you actually create by yourself. So I'll teach you how to make our very popular curry. How many people can tell me the ingredients of, um, just name one ingredient you know is in curry powder. 
Just raise up your hand, stand up and tell me. I'll point at you. Madam, to you, Mary, this babe goes to school. I thought you would just stand up and tell me, call re nine day inside. <laughs> Who else? Can anybody give me something else? When I won't tell me something, I don't know where today is, I call re. Salt. If you want. Cumin. Correct. So I can see from the reaction I'm getting right now that a lot of you do not know what is inside curry powder. I know go surprise if somebody said, now curry leave the grind full inside. Don't put color. Make it yellow. <laughs> but we have a lot of spices that actually goes into, into the production of curry. So I have them here. I'll mention them for you. I actually wrote out my recipe in here, so I'll be using it. So if you actually have your biro and paper, pick a mop so that you can write the recipe for yourself. Even if I end up not giving you one of these little sachets I have here, you can actually recreate it at home. And when you finally do, the next time you walk into a shop or some supermarket and you spy the curry sitting on the shelf, you just say, guys, stay there. I have something better at home. That's how beautiful it is is, you know, when you actually create something for yourself. So right here we have, I'll mention them for you. Can I have someone that will help me measure them into the blender? Yes, so that we can just do it. Okay. You have your biro and papers ready. Are you ready? Raise up your paper and your biro. See all of them. Now they find free spice lesson, Abby. Okay. Let's go on. Una ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, fire. I want five tablespoons of ground coriander in there. But if you don't have ground, remember, I told you you can use the, the seeds itself. Make I call them seed. Some are seeds, some are barks, you know. You have spices in different forms. Some are actually root forms. You have them. So you have to actually really study your spices. But everything we are using, they are in the dried form. Because some of these spices you cannot actually use, especially when you're producing something like this in the fresh form. But ginger, fantastic when you're cooking, but if you're making spice, you want to bottle in a jar, you need everything in a dried form. So I want five tablespoons of coriander, so you just put it in there. We have five there. Are you writing it? Five tablespoons of coriander. You'll find these spices in a lot of the supermarkets. So just look for a very good supermarket and go there. Buy it in the whole form. When you have it like this, you can actually keep it because the shelf life is really long. I have some of these at home, and I've had them for more than one year, and they are still fine. They are still in good condition. But just make sure you always, you know, tape it closed whenever you use it. So we have it in there. Uh, two tablespoons of cumin. Do we have cumin here? See, if you don't know what they look like, Google. Just type cumin. It will show you what it looks like. So when you go to the shop, you know exactly what to pick. But when you are buying spices, especially spices like these, I'll advise you to do something. Make sure you look at the expiration date. Buy the freshest. The one we just come up from your mama belle. That's the type you buy. By what I just said, I mean the freshest of them all. Picking where just come out, you know not as fresh. Ah, you know as fresh now. Permit me to use my pidgin English. I'm very comfortable with it. And I must represent worry here today. <laughs> so um, we're going to use turmeric, but we're using the powdered form because turmeric actually you don't um, use that much often in the fresh form. So we'll be using powdered turmeric here today. And um, ginger, remember our spices are dried. You can have the dried ginger from the market, but right here we're using um, already ground ginger powder. When I don't write them. Okay, let me start from the beginning. Five tablespoons coriander, two tablespoons cumin. You use one tablespoon turmeric. Okay, you can just add it there. Let's just do it that way. Or make it two tablespoons. Make it 
Tons o oibo small. Okay, we need two teaspoons ginger. Are you writing it? Two teaspoons ginger. I like the way you heaped the ginger. Me too, I love ginger. <coughs> I want two teaspoons mustard. This is mustard seeds. They are very tiny. How many people remember the proverb with the mustard seed? They are really, really tiny and nice. So you'll be adding it to the blender as well. Teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons. And because I like black pepper, we'll be adding, instead of one and a half teaspoon, let's make it two teaspoons black pepper. I love the taste of black pepper. Do we have it there? Thank you so much. So, Chef Master, just to ask a question. Um, the black pepper, is it just a personal preference or is there something like beneficial? Black pepper has a very unique taste it gives to food. Like to me, and maybe to some other people, you can actually change the taste of even the most simplest of meals with black pepper. And it's not so hot, but it's very fragrant. So we are using it. Chili, atarodo, and the rest, hot, hot, hot. But black pepper has, it's not so hot, and at the same time, very fragrant, and it has a really unique taste. So we're using black pepper. And um, one teaspoon cinnamon. Let's have cinnamon here. Do we have it? Do we have the cinnamon around? If you have questions, pop them, pop them. I'm ready to take them while we're doing this, no fear. So we'll be having one and a half teaspoon cardamom. Remember, Google is your friend, just Google it up. It will show you what it is. You have these spices available in Nigeria, I tell you. Yes, use the green cardamom. I would like the green. Use green cardamom, I like it. It's just a preference, although you have black cardamom. It's a thing of choice, so you choose your own. Okay, just add a little bit more. Although we omitted something here because I know we'll be pressed for time. One thing you can actually do to release, you know, a lot of flavor and aroma from these spices, we are going to grind straight ahead because I have one hour and right now I'm seeing time is really, really flying. What you do is that you get a frying pan, hot frying pan, place it on the fire. These fresh spices, the ones we have here, all you need to do is put them on the frying pan and toast. Who they toast granite for soup? Who knows how to, you know how to do it? It's a similar process. So what you do is that you just put the spices, especially the whole spices, those ones in full form, and just, you know, toast, shake, use your wooden spoon. You will perceive, you know, the lovely fragrance coming out. We actually experienced I experienced it in a male kitchen. Can I get a bottle of water, please? Yes. We experienced it there where we, you know, enjoyed the smell, but we don't have that time. But I'm just telling you, you can actually toast them before grinding. So the last one, chili pepper. Let's have some chili pepper. Chili pepper, I'm using half a teaspoon. You can use one teaspoon. If you are mama pepper or papa pepper, add it the way you want. You can play with that. So after putting them all together, after roasting the whole spices, all you need to do is put them in your coffee blender. Funny enough, this is a very unique blender. I think it does both wet and dry blending, and it comes out really, really nice. I think they call it industrial blenders or so. So you can actually blend, and what you will get at the end of the day is this. Can you see it? I wish you could you can actually perceive it. Let me pop it open. Let me do, let me do the honor. You want to take it around? Okay. So that they will actually, you want to test it? You want to perceive them? Okay. How does it smell? It smells amazing. Who wants to perceive what it smells like? Amazing. Mm, you can come, you can come. In fact, I almost you feel like can come. cooking. I want you to perceive it. 
and tell the audience if it smells like your curry powder at home. Mm. Okay. Okay. Perceive it. Wow. Wow. That was a reaction. It's beautiful. It's I beautiful. Love you love the smell. All right. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what does it smell like? Nice. Mm. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. You like it. It's fresh. Yes, it has a unique taste. It has a unique, you didn't taste it. You smell, sorry. I'm fantastic, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It smells good. It? it smells good. good. Okay, so you can hear from members um, of the audience that it smells good. But I want you to experience it. So we'll be giving this to some of you. You can help me do that. I don't want to call everybody up here. We don't have time. Time flies so fast, especially when you're enjoying yourself. Um, I don't know how many we have here, but we can just give it to, you know, so members of the audience so that they can perceive it and enjoy it. And if you use it and it's sweet you, make you send me Instagram message or send me DM. Tell me you liked it. Well, I've given you the recipe. I will say it once more so that you can do it at home. So for those of you that didn't get it, I'll quickly run through it. Five tablespoons coriander two tablespoons cumin, one tablespoon turmeric, two teaspoons, the pekin, teaspoons ginger powder, yes, two teaspoons mustard, one and a half teaspoon black pepper, I like to use two, um, one teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon cardamom, these are strong spices. So another thing you need to know about spices, especially if you want to go into spice production, you want to make spices for yourself. Don't just copy people and their spices. One thing you need to know is that you have to experience your spices. How do you experience your spices? You use them at home and know what they are good for. And then you can go crazy and be dexter in your own laboratory and actually put them together and try to create your own unique spice blend. The beauty of spices is that you can have your own blend. And then what do you do with it? You keep it as your what? Your trade secret. So people taste your spice, they are like, okay, this curry powder is nice. It's not like the other ones I taste out, you know, out there. You will taste these ones they just gave to you and you will notice the difference. But I just gave you this because I don't have it in my, you know, I don't have it in my range. So I can actually practice and have good curry and give it to you. Okay, so it's, that's basically it. So now, we are going to do dodo frittata. Yeah, Who likes plantain? I want to say something. <laughs> okay, okay. so um, hello everyone. Are we having fun so far? Yeah. I think that Chef Mashe des deserves a round of applause <laughs> for showing us how to make this. Thank you. Let me have some more. There are time. three things I like about worry people. Three things I love about worry people. One, their sense of humor. Two, their pigeon is original, and three, what you know they carry? Ah. Thank you very much. Now we That's go all. into the next item. The so like the I asked, I said, how many people like dodo? If you know you are a dodo, don, raise up your hand. Because I need like five dodo dons here. Who are the dodo dons? You are a don for standing up, come outside. No, this, this bobo here with the hairstyle. Come, come, come and dro drop that mineral. Uh -huh. Dodo Dawn. Babe with the black, wait till they come and face, face cap. cap. No, there's a name, or you both name for it. What do they call it? Snap back. Snap back. Okay, come behind, come behind. I need five Dodo Dawns. If you really love Dodo, show me yourself. <laughs> See Dodo Dawn there, come outside. Come, come, come and join me. The lady in yellow. It's not you, it's this lady. Let her join us. We need two more Dodo Dons. I need another guy up here. Bobo, Fendi, see designer, come here. Ah, there's one auntie actually dancing on her seat. Come, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> No, I called Fendi. What's on your snapback? I didn't call that name. 
MDN, no, it wasn't MDN. It was Fendi. So we have our Dodo Dons here. Put your hands together for the Dodo Dons. So, Auntie, we need to know their names. Can we know who they are? All right, um, you just introduce yourself. Tell us your names. My name is Naudua Kodungide. Udua. Round of applause. I think I know you. Ude Fool. <laughs> My name is Abimbala Fatima. Round of applause. Thank you. My name is Ogumbi. Unanaba Chop. With all the food, we're food there. I don't feel clap. My name is Ogumbi. I clap. If you know that you want to go heaven, clap. Tell me what. Tell me what. If you know that you want to get money, clap. My name is Produzi. Produzi, Z. Okay. Z. Round of applause for Z. So now we are making Dodo Fit. Where's my phone? It don't stroke. Come off here. I need them. Yes. We're going to make what I call Dodo Frittata. It is actually a melange. When I say melange, it's French for a mix, a blend of um, two countries. It's frittata from Italy and dodo from Nigeria. So it's a fusion recipe, but it's too oyibo. Now I say, make I just add small Nigeria inside. The way my people go like them. That's what a lot of us food bloggers, we do. We try as much as possible. Even the chefs we have. In short, give a big round of applause, you know, for all the chefs here. Big, big round of applause for Chef Stone. He's a don in the industry. So what we normally do is that we can create fusion recipes, take from here, borrow from here, take one hand, one leg, one ear, one nose. <laughs> we have only one nose anyway. And put all together to create something quite unique. If you are a chef, you have to know how to create, you know, signature recipes. I am not a chef. So when you call me a chef, I don't accept it. I am just mashé. The girl, we like food too much. So clap for me, we like food too much now. And clap for yourself for loving food. If you didn't love food, you wouldn't be here. So. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do Dodo Frittata. I tell you, say, now two countries from Italy and from Nigeria. Dodo is very us. Plantain is very us. The recipe is them, but it's a mix. And I also have Yaji. Yaji, one of our spices. We have Yaji seasoning inside to actually do what? To localize the taste to suit the Nigerian palate. The beauty of this particular dish we're going to make is that you can actually enjoy it as breakfast, you can have it as lunch, you can also have it as dinner, whatever way you want it. If you want it with salad, fine. If you want to use stew to eat it, fine. Just go creative with the recipes. I'm going to use certain, you know, vegetables in here, but you shouldn't use exactly what I'm using. If you are very creative, sauce other vegetables you like, and tweak it to your heart content, your own heart's content. That's what you do. So my dodo dance, station yourself. Who is going to be slicing? Someone is going to slice. Who likes to slice amongst you? OK, you man this board. You will slice for us. Who is going to break eggs? I think we will need more than one chop board. Though. Do we have another one? Okay, so let's so that I can station on my dons here. Somebody is going to be frying the bacon. Hoodie foods, that's your duty. <laughs> it is you. You are the one that will do it. You will find bacon and also we will first of all um, slice the sausages before using them. One thing about me, I like beautiful looking dishes. Food must find. But I'm not among those people that make food fine, food no taste good. I'm sure you've experienced a lot of that. Beautiful looking meals and you taste it, it's bland. It's a, for me, I like the two. It should taste really, really good and it should also look very, very good. I am not a chef, so I might not plate like a chef, but I am an artist. I paint, I draw, 
I like to do a lot of things. I love my camera. So I like to create dishes that will look good in front of my camera. So you can call me a food photographer. So it must look good. I'm not just using my props to make it look good. I like the food itself to look good. So when you are working things like your, permit me to use my fingers, sausages, don't just fry sausages. A lot of you, if I tell you to slice this now, you make circles for me, wouldn't you? If you will make circles for me, put up your hands. Don't be shy. We are learning, I'm still learning. I haven't gotten it all. You make sausages, right? Who else can create another shape from this? If you're not using one of those crimping machines, what other? You can slant it. Beautiful, that is one way. So if you really want to get interesting looking meals, you have to be playful with how you slice what you are making. You have to be playful with a lot of things. Don't just say because they slice dodo like this, I'll slice dodo like that. If you want to cube it, you cube it. If you want to slice it diagonally, you slice it. If you want to make them in circles, fine. If you want to make them in ovals, fine. If you want to make them in long ovals, fine. Your ability to think with your head is what will determine how your pictures will turn out. So when you are cooking, don't just cook to eat. Also cook to make it look nice and interesting. And if you are very good with your, thank God mobile phones are so good, we can take a lot of pictures. And if you want to be actually good with your phone, you will create very good looking meals and then you use your phone or whatever medium you have to capture really, really nice pictures. We have a food photographer coming here, so she will be doing much of that. I am going to face my frittata. So let's start cutting, we don't have time. Time flies really fast. So now, this sausage, we will slice it diagonally. You understand diagonally? Let me show you. So we will slice it diagonally. I won't do it my way. Give us shapes you know we can create right here. Simple shapes that we can use in making the frittata. So how should we do the bacon? Anybody? Simple shapes. I want you to think with your heads. Get creative, you can do it. How do you want us to do it? Huh? Triangular, it will be quite hard, but we can manage it. I can already see it here. We can manage it. Okay, so who is going to do the bacon? Who do you food? You are creative. <laughs> you, you'll be, you be something else. You will do it. So I'm going to show you how we can make out triangles from this now. How do we shape the plantain? I want you guys to see what you've created with me. How do we shape the plantain? Um, you can use another sausage since I touched that one. That was just for... Okay. So grab, although we have certain knives for certain, you know, chores in the kitchen, but right now we will manage what we have. Okay, yeah, let me show you. My hands, I need to wash. How do you do it? Okay. okay. So I'm washing my hands so that I can assist my sister. How many people wash their hands in their kitchen when they are cooking? If you don't raise up your hand there. Jesus, what do you they cook with dirty hand? Want to kill people with salmonella? Oh, go join bacteria. Okay, so we're going to make triangles out of this. Let me wipe my hands dry. You can wipe your hands too. You said diagonal, right? This is how we're going to do it. Just start here, like this. You see it? You can see how it looks, just like this. So you can just do it like that. You want the bacon to be coming triangles, right? Yes. Okay, Udi Foods. Okay, let me show you how you can do it. The easy way, so that we don't make any waste. Grab, grab, and there's a knife here, here. Just grab it. Let me show you some. Just place it here. One. Just bring out one or two if you want. Okay. You won't see the mass. Did they see what they do? You can actually make triangles that way. 
So um, the plantain, any suggestion? You want them in circles? In what? Can't hear you. In what? In cubes. Oh yeah, who we'll go do cube? Okay, let me let him do it. <laughs> okay. You can stay around there. Let's have it. You make it in cubes. Just one plantain will be fine. Take the fattest one. Udi has done a fantastic job. Put your hands together for eat Udi foods. <laughs> Wash your hands here. What else are we slicing? We're breaking eggs. We have onions. We have the green bell pepper. We have the red bell pepper. So who is going to slice them? He will slice. <laughs> let ah, her slice. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Let her slice. Sorry. Ah. Let her slice. Okay. <laughs> he will break the eggs. I think we have enough sausages, so we'll put them in a bowl. Thank you so much. Yes, you can take one from there. We have more than enough sausages. You put it in a bowl so that we'll have my broth here to do the green and red bell peppers. Remember, you don't use the seeds. We just want the fruit itself. Okay, that's nice. So you can wash your hands. Give a big round of applause for my sister. No, it's okay. And we have more than enough. So the plantain, according to our people, they want them in cubes. So we want it to be in, you can do cubes, right? I don't need to tell you how to do it. So what else are we using? Eggs. Who wants to break the eggs? <laughs> See. So we need a bowl. <laughs> we need a bowl and fork. <laughs> He's going to break the eggs. So we want eight eggs. You break eight eggs here, um, about half will be okay. Less than half, a little bit less than half. Udi foods, I think we have enough of this. Just make sure they are separated. <laughs> so we need, we need a fork first for you to crack open the egg. <laughs> it's not going to be nice like that. Okay, since we don't have that, let's look for something let's we can use. Oh, this is yeah. so... Can you something use this? Else. No, not this. This one will not do it. You know what we can do? One, yeah. You can actually crack at the edge of this, if you don't mind. Hmm? See? You just crack here. Okay, for you, okay? <laughs> you believe him alone, oh? He's a chef in the making. He will get his Michelin, you know, stars very soon. Okay, we need eight eggs here. It's very easy. So they will be the one cooking. Me, I'm forming Madame. <laughs> see, see, chef. I'll be boss for here. Feeling cool amongst them. Okay, not rings. Let's have them in, you know, those strips. It will be nice. Let's play with everything so that we'll finish it up and you'll see what it looks like. You're done with this. Okay, um, who is not working? We need work, okay, start with the green pepper. What shape do you want for the green pepper? Bobo, this is your cube levels, eh? It's, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what this is, so. Guy, if we fry this one at Chin Chin now. <laughs> we will manage it like that. <laughs> okay, let's have the green pepper sliced. You be creative with the green pepper, surprise me. Ah, uh, you, you don't crack finish. <laughs> okay, you are almost done with yours. Uh, this lady, she can slice, so even though she's not using a chop, but clap for her. You know the dons in the kitchen. They don't need chop boards. Just hand and knife. Don't cut yourself, Sha. 
We don't want to eat blood. She did a fantastic job. Please, a big round of applause. Let me spy this guy. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of progress here. So we have, yeah, go ahead, mix it, whisk it. It's okay. Mm, you rinse it first. Yeah. Rinse it. Mm, whisk it. Yes, you can do that. Just about half of it will be nice. Well, just rinse it first. Okay. We don't have water. Okay. Can you show us what we're doing wrong? Okay, maybe we change the yeah. setting. Aha. Uh -huh. No, this one now, you both in. <laughs> Sometimes if they don't teach you, you will disgrace yourself. <laughs> that was how I went to one hotel. Toilet is there. After we forget I'm mentioning that. I'll call it Lou. Lou there there. Okay, sure. After using Lou, the babes start to find where they go flush from. <laughs> I said, man, I'm not coming outside to ask anybody. <laughs> hey, oh me. Disgrace. What did I do next? Touch this one. <laughs> Touch that one. Until I got it. It was one slant like that. You just do it like this. Oh, Yibo. So don't blame him. All the setting here. Who no say na shower? Na in the tin tongue. <laughs> okay, so we have everything slowly, not slowly, quickly getting ready. They say you get plenty hands. Things go really, really fast. So who wants to measure spices for me? Person when he hand, no, they shake. Oh. Can't go put too much salt now. No fit chop the thing. If you know, say you be, or get matakota for kitchen, raise up your hand. All these ladies are too sure of themselves. I beg, I like men very well. <laughs> yes, let me have that bobo. Okay. We have questions from Facebook. So let's have him over here. Okay, I think it's this. Round of applause for our volunteers, please. Okay. Okay. No, no. So, um, if you are... <laughs> Just move only. This. Okay, we actually have a few questions from Facebook, from okay. those who are tuning in from Facebook. If you're tuning in um, on Facebook, if you're watching us live on Facebook or okay. YouTube, um, you we can, can the ask any can questions. The Hashtag GT Bank um, Food and Drink, and um, your questions will get to us. Um, so we have a question here, Chef Masha, go creative, um, go creative. from Facebook. Yeah. It says to list the ingredients. So I believe this person must have missed out on the time when... For the dodo frittata. For the uh, seasoning. For the seasoning. Yes. Okay, I'll quickly do it. Facebook person, I hope you are watching. <laughs> so All right. Have, um, Quick one. If you didn't get it right, an opportunity for you to... We have Muti Adeoshun Olatunde. So um, that question is from Muti Adeoshun Olatunde. Okay. And um, we'll be reading out the um, ingredients right now. Okay. All right. Muti, right? Yes. Muti. Okay. Muti, you need five tablespoons of coriander. You get it. She's hearing me. Two tablespoons of cumin. One tablespoon of turmeric powder. Two teaspoons, not tablespoon this time around. Two teaspoons of ginger powder. Two teaspoons of mustard seeds. One and a half teaspoon of black pepper, but I decided to use two teaspoons. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cardamom and half a teaspoon or more, if you wish, of chili pepper, the really hot pepper. You have a question? Okay, quickly, so that we can make the frittata. All right. My name is Wilson. I have a problem. You okay. know, you've just been mentioning tablespoon, teaspoon. Okay. And you know that when dealing with spices, just a little bit extra will make a lot of difference. Yes. So is it flat tablespoon 
or heap tablespoon. Okay, you want to flat teaspoon or heap teaspoon. To be on the safe side. Because for someone like me, I already know how to play with my spices. But to be I like this question you ask. What you should do, measure. So get a knife. So when you measure, you just scrape the top off. But some of the spices will actually bring out their tails. So just know how you're going to measure it and use. That was a very fantastic question. A round of applause for him. You have to know the difference between one heaped tablespoon and one leveled tablespoon. For everything I'm talking about now, to be on the safe side, use leveled tablespoons. It will work better. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chef Marche, for that clarification. <laughs> so who is the guy measuring for us? OK, guy, let's have you here. I think everything is almost done. For the egg, where did they put it? It's this way. I think we have all the spices here, so we should just do it here. Instead of moving things about. Yes, you know. like go, Which one? The straight. Anything you want to do with it, go ahead and do it. Well, I think I would like them in bigger sizes. You can halve it if you want, so that it will look nice visually. So, uh, so the guy about to measure, let's be precise. Can I have a spoon, tablespoon? I mean, table knife will be nice. Let's do exactly what my brother just said. Or anything that is straight that we can use. The recipe is right here. When you're cooking with time, you learn to create your own recipes. The more you get into the kitchen, the more you try out things, the more you have your own custom recipes. So I'm going to actually use my recipe. This recipe is about three, four years old. I created dodo frittata. So I'll just mention it the way it's on my page. So now, in this, we have eight eggs in here, which our brother just whisked. So we're going to add the spices directly into the egg. So that we're going to have a very nice tasting egg. So what he's going to do for us right now, start adding. We're going to add one teaspoon of paprika. Do you have the teaspoon there? If you don't have... Um, Sure, they can go back to their right. seats. Thank a you big very round much. of applause. Big no, no, no. I don't want them. Table. Somebody need leave Udi food. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. The guys can sit down if they wish to. Because we need to fry the bacons and the rest. I need people that will, you know, become my arms in here. So let's have, that's a teaspoon, right? Okay, we are having one teaspoon of paprika. So you just measure it. Then you use this knife to make sure it's... Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is a level teaspoon of paprika. Just dump it inside here. So we need half a teaspoon of black pepper. Do we have ground black pepper here? Ground black pepper. No, that's peppercorn. Okay, we can grind it here. Okay, so what we need actually is half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. But I don't have the pepper powder here, so I am going to estimate, but you know the recipe, I'm giving it to you. It's actually half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, I think this is okay. Yes, yeah, so we have half a teaspoon here of ground black pepper. Uh -huh. What else are we putting? We are adding yaji. So we are adding our own seasoning into it. Who likes yaji? Some people not raising up their hands. You put nana chop suya pass. You know what I'm saying? Yaji that they put for suya. So let's have yaji here. One teaspoon will be nice. Level teaspoon. But with yaji, sha, you can go more than level though. You can just heap the teaspoon. Who plays ojoro in the kitchen sometimes? You just be cooking. You just look. Half teaspoon of pepper. Half teaspoon. <laughs> because you like pepper. Okay then, uh, we'll have one over two teaspoon of dried oregano. 
I love oregano. I don't know if you've experienced the, spa, um, the herb, but it's really, really nice. And it has a very fragrant smell as well. So we're having half a teaspoon of oregano. Leveled, yeah, teaspoon. So this is a leveled teaspoon of oregano. Just put it in. And then we're using one seasoning cube. Which of them like seasoning cube for food? Well, they pretend. Oh. Put up your hand if you use seasoning cube. <laughs> okay, you wash your hands. I've already washed my hands. So we're going to crumble one seasoning cube inside. And with salt, salt is to your taste. We all have different tongues. What may be salty for you may not be salty for me. So the salt is to your taste. So now, a bit of salt. We have the salt here. This one, now your choice. But make sure it's not salty. If not, you won't be able to eat it. So we're adding just a little salt there. So you can whisk it, bros. Now, ladies, to this side. Is this left or right? Left. Right. right, to the right, to the right, okay. So let's get some of these things frying. We need to fry the plantain until it is golden brown. We need to fry the bacon, yes, until it is nice. It doesn't have to be too crispy. And we are going to fry the, this is a sausage, I'm sorry, and the bacon. What I normally like to do with my vegetables, I like to stir fry them with just salt, a pinch of salt. Some people might just add the whole vegetables into the, the egg before frying and then putting it into the oven. But I prefer to season my vegetable in oil with a little bit of salt. What I noticed is that it actually brings out the flavor you know, of the vegetable. It tastes better than a frittata that you just pour all the vegetables into it. So we're going to have someone fry the vegetables too with a pinch of salt. For the other things here, we're frying without salt. So let's have our people frying. So we have the ladies here. How many? Okay. Please, who can help me put on this gas cooker and not get this side from my house? So let's have it on so that we start frying simultaneously. Let's see who really knows how to fry. You know, not everybody knows how to fry. Tell some people to fry plantain for you. We eat plank. <laughs> they will fry the plantain there. Eh? You know what our grandmama, the expression, they say kakaka. -ka -ka. Even by saying kakaka, -ka -ka, you already know what I'm talking about. They will fry the plantain until kakaka. -ka -ka. Some will be talking on the phone and gisting with their lovina and lovinus. You will eat burnt plantain. So if you really want to fry nice looking plantain, you have to be close to it so that you watch as the plantain progresses. You know, there are different stages though. We have the blonde, we have the redheads, and we have the brunettes. <laughs> different stages, you have the light, you know, once you have the golden brown, you have the dark brown, and uh, from that part, <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> so it's, it's high, can we have it? Okay. Okay, so let's have granite oil in them. For the bacon and sausages, you can actually fry together. Well, we need really little oil, not so much, so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Then for the plantain, who's frying it? So you give me a really nice looking plantain. So she will be handling plantain. Who is going to fry the vegetables for me? You fry the vegetables. I want you to bring out the flavor. So you don't really have to, we don't have to fry them until it wilts. No, you don't go fly them until it will come be like, you know that pomo with the soap for water where they do like this? No, we still need it to look nice because if your vegetables are over fried, they won't come out nicely in your pictures. See time, I'm behind time. Oh, okay. So let's have them frying quickly so that we can bake. Okay, let's have this other one here. Let's have fire here as well. Right. 
so that we can all fry together and get this done. Is this for the planting? Yeah. Okay. So this we can uh, use for the veggies, and that we can use to actually fry the sausage and bacon. We can reduce it. It's high. Mm. Very little. Udi is okay. That's fine. Yeah. So let's get them going quickly. Too bad we don't have time anymore. But let's do this as quick as okay, we can. So at this point, we need to move really fast. Um, Chef, Fry. Chef, we yeah, we need to move. Yeah. So we need to move really fast right yeah. now. So we're going to be rushing things a little bit. We're sorry about that. Yeah, right. okay. You can start with these. And then you add that to it in the same pan. Let's have it frying. So to save time, you can do half of it so that we don't fry too much. Just half of this inside here. This you fry there, all of it is okay. Because we need to be done. And who is doing the vegetables? Okay. You can use that for vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Is that um, burner working? <laughs> We're shouting chin chin. You wicked, though. If this is not working, we can also use the other burner there. Okay. To create space. So that they will have space. Yeah. So while my ladies are frying, do you have questions for me? Go ahead. If you have a question, let me know. So that we can, you know, use the time while they are frying. Okay. The lady over there. What question do you have? Good evening. I'm Yemi Sirilo. So I wanted to find out the uh, curry powder. You mentioned black pepper. Can it be substituted with um, white pepper? Um, yes, you can substitute it. Or I like, I like the together. way you think. You can substitute it, but know something. Black, um, white pepper has a very earthy taste. So it might change it from the original recipe, but it doesn't mean you cannot try it. Feel free, explore. Yes. Yeah. So we can end it now. Um, so thank you very much um, for being a part of this class. Um, this class is about to end in a few minutes. This class will be ending. If you have any questions, please let us know. So now, I think we're Question. pressed for time. We don't have enough time. I'm on. I'm on. With no, a question. A bit. Good okay. evening. Okay, good evening. My name is Goodness. Okay. I want to find out the black pepper. Is it the regular one we call Cameroon pepper? No. Okay, this they are totally different. different. Yes. All right. Black pepper actually come in peppercorns. They are not. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to do something. Can you open it for me? Yeah. Okay. Is there, okay, okay, right. Okay, this is what black pepper looks like. Can you focus on it, please? Okay, so, okay. is that okay? This is what it looks like. All right, All right. You thank you it? very much, Chef Mash. So, mm -hmm. can we have the next question, please? Um, the question is about the curry. Now, coriander, as I know it, is in leaf form. But what I saw there was... Um, I can hear you. It's in the leaf form, coriander. Yeah. What I saw there was um, powder or something. And you said it's best to use it in its most natural form. So I grow, I pick my coriander. How do I get that? Like I said, yeah. for some spices, not all of them will allow you to use them fresh. Okay. So if you're going to make curry powder that you can store in a jar for your sausage at home, 
what you have to do is to dry it. Right. And then you have your herb, okay. powdered herb. Okay. You can use it. Okay. That way you get powdered powder in a jar that you can keep for almost a year and use for your sauces. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Masha. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions, please? We'll just take two more after this one. Sorry. My name is Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. I'm fine. Thank you. Um, this um, curry that we are talking about, there is this curry, Indians call curry. And then there is another one in Nigeria that we call curry. So which particular curry is it? This is curry powder. Originally, curry is from India. We are just borrowing, you know, curry recipe from the Indians. This is very Indian. And when you talk about spices, spices are mostly from Asia and Africa. So a lot of spices we actually have and even use have, you know, origins from, you know, Asia and the rest. So it is your Indian curry. But during ages ago, when um, Caucasians traveled to those parts of India, they wanted to recreate something similar to what they experienced in India. So they started creating their own recipes. Some of the curry powders you use are actually recipes that are not too Indian, but at the end of the day, what you are having today, just inhaling it, you will smell, smell some India in it. Yeah. Thank you, Chef Mashe. And we have just one more question. Hello, my name is Lillian. So, yes. Okay, Who's my asking. Hello, my name is Lillian. My question Welcome. for you is, as a food blogger, what resources did you go to for your photography and help with like food blogging? There are a lot of resources online, but like, how were you able to streamline what resources that really helped you as far as food blogging and food photography? Okay, if we're talking about food blogging, first and foremost, what I did was that I studied a lot of food blogs on the internet, not Nigerian blogs per se. There were lots of food bloggers out there, food bloggers from India, China, all writing in English. So I had to study a lot of them. Some of the food blogs I liked, some of them I didn't. But for the food blogs I really liked, there were food blogs or food bloggers who loved food and enjoyed sharing their experiences. They even shared their vulnerabilities. So it was a pack of, you know, a combination of hard work, good recipes, and sharing their stories that made their blogs really, really unique. Talking about resources for photography, I, was, I wasn't taught by anyone. I am actually a self-taught photographer. What I did and what you can do too, you have YouTube. You can go on the internet, look at videos, you know, of people teaching you how to use, up to your camera, you, you, you check out videos on your camera, check out how to do things, read extensively, and then practice. Reading everything is fine, but what you really need to do is practice. You practice, practice, practice. Okay, so let's ask you just a few questions before you have to run off. You transitioned from being an on-air personality to creating your own spices and seasonings. Tell us how you did that. Well, um, I started with a food blog, www.marshacooks.co. And while, you know, giving out recipes and teaching people about my recipes, it got to a stage that my audience wanted to, they wanted to experience something from me. They were like, Marche, create something we can use. Marche, do this. Marche, write a book. They wanted Marche, more of you. They wanted more of me. And that was how Marche Cook Seasoning was born. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. Okay, so you do a lot of spices, you do a lot of seasonings. Which ones are your favorites and which ones do you use the most? I love them all. Come on, pick one. I don't have favorites. Just one. I love them all. You know why? Let us know which one to buy first. Well, my biggest seller and fastest seller happens to be my everything spice on my pepper soup spice. They sell really, really fast. Okay. But at the same time, I love all my spices because with spices, there's an avenue for you to keep reinventing and changing things. You might have one taste today. You might decide to make it even better and maybe add a little or change the name of the product True. or add Maybe super yaji. True, Maybe true. you have yaji, Mashe cooks yaji, and then you have Mashe cooks super yaji, okay. or spicy yaji, you know, or hot 
Yaji, you can always add to yeah. the name. Okay, okay. Which spices you can create. create. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we know you're working on a cookbook, right? Yes, I am. Okay, when is that out? And what sort of cookbook should we be expecting from you? Well, for now, I don't have a date. I will not share Aww. that. It's taking time. But um, what people should expect is lovely photography, good stories, and solid recipes. Okay, I think it's safe to say that we're all very excited for your yeah. cookbook. Thank you. So thank you for coming.